Oh, do time for another beer review. It's Friday challenge time. We have survived another week. Well done, everybody. Um, this week's Friday challenge, I kind of double booked myself. I've told Mersey Beers that I was going to do his beer, and I've bought it. And I also remembered that I'd um, told my mate Craig Kenny that I was going to do his beer as well. So I'm doing Craig's this week, and I'm doing Adam from Mersey Beers next week. So, but keep the challenges coming because. I will run out at some point so just fire in the comments what you'd like me to review i've had a few and i will get to them as quickly as i can like always so this is a beer that craig gave me he gave me two beers i did one a couple of weeks back and it was the pills net on a friday challenge which was very nice and he's gave me another one from brew by numbers this is their number 64 it is an imperial stout cherry trifle 10 percent in a 330 mil can um, Craig wasn't so keen on it and he said I don't know if you'll like it which I thought nah I like Imperial Stouts but he likes Imperial Stouts too so um, it's, an, it's an Imperial Stout that I'm not overly looking forward to although it is my like I say my favourite style so um, we'll get it out it says on the back of the can this full-bodied and decadent imperial stout is a liquid expression of a dessert favourite, the cherry trifle. Layers of sour cherry, vanilla and custard flavours sit atop a robust and well-rounded imperial stout base. The resulting beer is satisfyingly sweet, creamy and best enjoyed during the colder months. Um, it's got one of these little scales on the side, so it's got five, it's got five dots out of five for malt. It's got four dots out of five for sweetness, it's got three dots out of five for complexity, and it's got three dots out of five for balance. So, um, make of that what you will. Um, do like brew by numbers. I'm guessing this is in one of those lockdown boxes that they've done. Um, so we'll see what we get. Great, being a glass got a real creamy brown head on that very almost i'm going to say whippy it's got big bubbles inside it looks like the resemblance to Sedra and Aero. um jet black there is no light like, getting through that you can see you can see slight carbonation on the sides going up and it's got a little faintest hiss on the on the ear right let's get the nose yeah i'm getting um, mainly chocolate, slight roastiness, and I'm getting a sour cherry in the background, like a cursed cherry, like a, boo a boozy, a boozy cherry. Right, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Um, as far as Friday Challenge beers goes, it's one of the better beers that I've had on a Friday Challenge. And as far as stouts go, it's a solid stout. Um, the there is this tart cherry up front that kind of uh, pops in and out. You get him the bacon chocolate. Slight roastiness, slight bit of finish. I'm not really picking up the custard or the vanilla. Um, like I say, I'm really getting this slight sour cherry um, and chocolate. Um, the, the the beer that springs to mind immediately is the Vocation uh, Imperial Kirsch that was in Tesco. And that beer was better. Um, it had a bigger, um, more profound cherry flavour than this one. Um, when I say sour cherry, it's not a vert, it's, it's just that little, it's got like a little tang to it. Um, it's a nice beer. Uh, it's, um, the ABV is well hidden. 
Um, I'm enjoying the beer. I've just had better Imperial Stouts. So for me, it's solid, solid beer. Um, I'd happily drink it again. I'm just not blown away with it. For me, it's solid. Solid towards good. Like, like solid towards really good, I should say. Um, but yeah, I'd have it again. I wouldn't be in a rush to buy it again, but um, certainly a nice beer. And so um, th thanks for giving us it, Craig. Yeah, I'm really not getting that vanilla or custard or it's just cherry and chocolate for me. But a nice beer nevertheless. So um, I'll add that to my Friday Challenge playlist where you can see some other Friday Challenges. Keep the challenges coming. We're getting close to number 50, so um, get your thinking hats on. I'd like something very memorable for that, if we can. Um, anything alcoholic, I am up for, as you know. As you've seen with that bloody two and a half litres of cider last week. So, um, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a great weekend. And on to the next one. Cheers.